With more sources of renewable energy, we are now focusing on green hydrogen. But before we dive into green hydrogen in a separate lecture, let's understand what are the various types of hydrogen that can be obtained and why obtaining hydrogen is so important. But before we begin, let's understand few of the disadvantages with hydrogen as a fuel. The first is it is highly inflammable. The rate of inflammation is very very high and it burns with a pale blue flame. As a result, uh, we understand that sometimes people shift to alternate means rather than hydrogen but hydrogen is an excellent source of energy now let's understand some of the ways through which hydrogen can be obtained the first is blue hydrogen now blue hydrogen and gray hydrogen are very very close but a little difference blue hydrogen is obtained from natural gas and when natural gas is split into hydrogen and carbon dioxide and blue hydrogen the carbon dioxide which is obtained is captured and stored however in gray hydrogen this carbon dioxide is neither captured nor uh, nor stored and therefore it is known as gray hydrogen so the difference between blue hydrogen and gray hydrogen is very very clear now how does the carbon dioxide is released there are two methods first is steam methane reformation so it is steam methane reformers which are used which are also called as smr and then there are atr which are autothermal reformers so either of these are used for splitting natural gas into carbon dioxide and hydrogen and in blue hydrogen this carbon dioxide obtained is captured and stored and this process is known as ccus carbon capture usage and storage now what is green hydrogen green hydrogen is considered as one of the cleanest fuels and here Hydrogen is obtained by electrolysis of water. So under this process of electrolysis, water separates as you can see here into hydrogen and oxygen. But you might question that the process of electrolysis would further require source of energy and there can be carbon footprints there. But here in green hydrogen, this process of electrolysis is done only through renewable sources. So wind and solar are the two major sources which are used for doing the electrolysis of water for green hydrogen. And this hydrogen obtained is without the byproduct as carbon dioxide and therefore called as green hydrogen, one of the cleanest options in hydrogen. Brown hydrogen is another important form of hydrogen which is made from coal. Now, how it is made from coal? This is made through the process of gasification. So important to note, a high proportion of Hydrogen which is obtained is either from coal or fossil fuels. As of the statistics now, only 4% of water is used to generate hydrogen. And this percentage, which is just 4%, needs to be increased in order to increase the rate of green hydrogen. But still, it is an expensive technology and therefore, there are recent developments going in the field of green hydrogen, which we would cover in a separate lecture. So, grey hydrogen, again we have come on to it, but that we have already explained, it's one and the same thing, except in grey hydrogen, natural, hyd uh, natural gas, when it splits into carbon dioxide and hydrogen, this carbon dioxide is escaped into the atmosphere and is not captured and stored and therefore not good for the atmosphere. The next is pink hydrogen. Pink hydrogen, again water is split by the process of electrolysis into oxygen and hydrogen but what is used here? Nuclear power is used and therefore it is known as pink hydrogen. So here for the process of splitting renewable sources of energy which is solar and wind as in the case of green hydrogen is not used rather nuclear power is used. The next is yellow hydrogen. Yellow hydrogen is a hydrogen which is split by the process of electrolysis so water is split by the process of electrolysis again into hydrogen and oxygen but this is exclusively by solar 
solar power so yellow hydrogen is again a good option for a country like india but when we say green hydrogen this green hydrogen incorporates the concept of yellow hydrogen because yellow hydrogen solely relies on solar power however green hydrogen relies on both forms of renewable energy which is solar and wind as of now so those are some of the major types of hydrogens which we have discussed in this lecture in the next lecture we would focus on green hydrogen exclusively green hydrogen the benefits the uses and the challenges for manufacturing of green hydrogen stay tuned good luck